and a part two of this book on the Western Stars. My dad and I had a log truck just sort of like that. I wouldn't say we built it. It was a 93 Western Star Red, exact same color, exact same bull board. But we turned it into, it didn't have any of that rigging on it. It was a sleeper truck and we had the sleeper took off. That replaced our 1980 Kenworth. I never took pictures of that truck. I don't think I even have one, which is weird. It was just some bad times, end of an era and family business. Butler, that would be Butler Brothers, Butler, Butler Brothers Logging. Uh, they made buildings. They're into gravel, concrete. Vancouver Island name. Main road contracting, highways maintenance contractor. Back when BC's Provincial Ministry of Transportation and Highways got privatized, all these contractors showed up. Emil Anderson Maintenance being one of them. I think there's one called YV, YV, Y something. Arrow. These newer trucks just, just, just don't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I get like compared to the haze next to it there, like the new trucks just aren't mean and ugly and rough and tough and intimidating and biker looking and last thing you'd want to see. They're almost a polite sight to see in your rear view mirror. Whereas back in the day, you seen a needle nose Kenworth coming at you and snorting blue smoke out both pipes and screaming with a Detroit in it. You'd probably want to yield the right away, and learn a lesson. But today things are plasticky and politer. It's a real BC government truck. It's not a privatized company. It's a Ministry of Transportation and Highways. Which still exists, but nowhere near the capacity they used to. When they had the orange and white, they had wheel loaders and drill rigs, they had everything. Trucks. Of course, their nickname was the Department of Holidays, not the Department of Highways. These are all look, looking a little bit. There we go. Old and ugly. Uh, older and uglier. How can older and uglier make prettier? It does. 490D deer. 490D, that must have been like 1986, 7, 8, somewhere in there. truck bulldozer version snow plow they probably have a little more rust on them than most 
being in the salt and the sand on the front lines of the bad weather. Well, that's a strange looking dump box. On the early Ford trucks, I'm call them bump sides and dent sides. I guess that would be a, a dent side. That'd be an Alberta truck with the low sides and no headache rack or bull board on it. Oh, I've seen that truck in person. That's up in uh, Pemberton, up the Pemberton Valley. I wonder if he took this picture when I was with him that day. We went up there and did some YouTubes and found a lot of old gear. That'd have been, shoot, 2012 or 13. That looks like an old Genstar, Genstar truck, or cement truck. Yukon. There's some paint. That's neat. As needle-nosed as the white Scott. Not really famous for their cab overs. Can't say one ever came to mind. Obviously, they made them. Leg. I think that's on like Salt Spring Island. Certainly don't see air conditioners on the cabs anymore. All the red dots. Rempel Brothers concrete truck.
BC Hydro. That's who keeps our lights on in British Columbia here. And they should have no problem doing that whatsoever. 24 hours, 28 hours a day, 100 hours a day for what they charge. For what they charge, the light should be so bright that they should be popping and burning out. Yeah, go green, get the whole world on electricity, electric cars, electric everything, and then jack the prices up. Maybe it's just me. We were doing a little construction around here. Our three-month bill was $1,900. Had like a few drywall fans running for a while, a few weeks. So that sucked. Then our most recent one was $850 for three months here, just on a residence. Cheaper to burn coal. But then you need a Western Star. There's a TV truck before it was maybe a TV truck. Or that was the Jamie Davis one that he sold up to Merritt to them. I think that's his rotator, so. And we're at the end. Only because there's no more though, so. All right, thanks for viewing.